Bell was taken to the police station where he refused further questioning. Officers didn't put much stock in his story, and when they completed a physical examination of the teen, they found something even more compelling. Behind an ear was a spot of blood that would later be determined to belong to Brian Walker. Then, in January of 2020, Rafael Angel Vargas took a plea deal, pleading guilty to first-degree murder in the death of Brian Walker. Though the defense was requesting that Rafael be kept in the juvenile system so that he might get mental health treatment, the judge found that to be an inadequate sentence for a crime like this, which reeked of extreme brutality. The fact that Rafael had told a probation officer during his pre-sentence interview that he'd purposely befriended his elderly neighbor so he could get into his house and rob him contributed as well to the judge's decision not to sentence the teen to juvenile detention. Instead, the now 18-year-old received a 60-year sentence, with 25 of those suspended, meaning he will serve 35 years guaranteed. As always, thanks for listening, and until next time, lovelies, don't be scared. <laughs>